and landing. So they trying to get me back comfortable jumping and landing with that. Uh, running, moving lateral, just like real slow right now. Can you try to strengthen the muscles around it or you're not able to lift that much? Oh yeah, uh, I'm actually lifting more, more weight with my legs than I did before when I got injured. So that's, that's the much more improved part of my process right now is the strength of your heart. A lot of people, when they try to recover from this type of injury, say that the, the mental issues are, are the biggest. Uh, even when you're walking around and you may get bumped now and then, do you, do you kind of still protect it a little bit or have you fully recovered from the mental aspect of it? Uh, I, me personally, I think I've fully recovered from the mental aspect part of it uh, because it ain't no part of like being down about it or anything like that because that will just make the process more harder for you. So I just try to keep a positive, positive vibe towards it. And, just keep moving through the process. Have you spoken with Brandon at all about going through this? Oh, yeah. He just went through the whole thing. Yeah, like almost every day I, I ask him, like, uh, did, was this sore after you did this part of the exercise and stuff like that? And I just ask, ask him, like, how did he like continue to push through the game? And he just gave me words of advice to, to what he, how he did it. Make it sense. If you don't, how, how did the injury happen? Was it in practice? Was it in kind of an open gym? Uh, it was, it was kind of open gym. Got it was like the very last game. Uh, so I was like heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> it happened in that very last game. Uh, I went up, I blocked the dunk, and then I took my eyes off the ground. Mm -hmm. And it just happened. Have you learned a lot about the depressed and just how to play within Huggins' offense from, from watching from the sideline and getting to see how everything kind of happens? Yes. Yeah, I'm taking it like as an advantage standpoint because uh, I can see what he wants from the point guard and knows what he's, he's he wants from them like when he comes out of the huddle and stuff like that. And watching practice when I got a chance and see how he wants the, the offense ran and even defense the defense part about it. Thank you. Coming into the season, the team didn't really have like a true point guard. Is that been kind of the hardest thing for you knowing that you maybe could have had an impact on this team and, and gotten some minutes? Um, I think I could have could have like had an impact of the team. Um, I showed some spurts in the Bahamas, but the coaching staff liked, and I think I could have contributed well to the team. Uh, it just happened happened at the wrong time. When you guys got back from the Bahamas, um, Huggins said that you were maybe the the best shooter on the court at times. Um, you know, how has your shooting been recovering from the injury? Do you feel like you're shooting differently? Or are you? You know, getting better as a shooter. Did you lose some of that? Uh, I'm actually shooting way better than I did before. Uh, my my shot is more consistent. Uh, that's coming from like just standing there shooting when I couldn't like move at, at all. Uh, I think overall my game and my IQ for the game is, has gotten really better by just sitting there, sitting back watching it. It's got to be tough to watch, but you talked a little bit before about kind of the advantage of getting a, a year off, kind of a, yeah. you know, a red shirt year. Is that, you know, you feel like you're growing as a player in that? Yeah, um, I feel like, like I said, my IQ part of the game is growing. Uh, and I get an advantage, which is an uh, extra year in the weight room. Uh, work on getting my strength strength up, uh, especially with my legs and my arms, and knowing what to do out there in the court for me listening to the coach during practice. These fans get behind guys with energy, people that like to get involved defensively, like to score the ball. You know, what can you tell these people that, that you're going to bring to the court next year? Uh, I am going to bring the, the energy, the energy level, the passion for the game and the love for the game on the court. And that's what they should be looking forward to next year. Has that grown at all since you haven't been able to play the passion for it? Actually, it's grown way more than usual because just sitting back watching it is hard like you said uh, and everything is just like overwhelming that I'm getting back to do everything that I usually do so yeah, seems like you haven't done too much sitting back and watching I mean you, you've been into the game man I see you at Lamont cheering on every basket I guess what does that provide the team when you guys are, are as hyped about scoring baskets for the guys on the court as the ones you know, sitting on the bench? Like I said, you got you to gotta stay positive. Like From my standpoint, with my injury, you got to stay positive and bring energy to the team because you also have a role on the team even if you're not playing. And that's just encouraging the teammates to, to play harder, to do, do better in the games, and especially defense, which coach likes. So.